Okay, here we go. First thing he's going to do is do my neck. Even with my the bottom of my ears, which are getting longer every year. He's very gentle, but he doesn't cut my neck and come in down. And Daniel likes to cut around the ears using the scissors, where I use the, the wall tool. Now he's putting the, the, the biggest adapter on to cut the side in the back. We used to do this by hand, and it would take three times as long. You just cut your knuckles doing it. Yeah, and you cut your knuckles and everything. <laughs> so we decided the tool is about the same depth as our fingers, because we used to pinch our fingers over the side of the hair yeah, like and then cut it off and we cut That's our knuckles. Yeah. So we just started using the tool instead and it makes it exactly the same all over. And it isn't custom, but it's Adequate. And we saved a lot of money. Now, maybe if you're going to get married or something, you might want to have a barber do it. But other than that, teach your husband or your wife to do this. Now he's going to trim my ears. I mean, my round my ears. <laughs> Don't trim my ears. <laughs> kind of make the same distance all over down and then just kind of blend it into the neck. The key is to make it the same on both sides. Okay. This is the most important part. He puts on the smallest attachment to my cyclones. Because when he gets through it, it's so good. Because when it's long, like like this. It gets itchy and crusty and scaly, especially when you get old like me, 69 years old. Then he cleans that all off, man, and in a couple of days it just heals up and feels so good. Here we are, just on both sides. In my neck, and he doesn't do much to my top because there isn't much to do on the top. And then he brushes me off and dumps all, the, dumps all the junk on the floor, and then we sweep it up and then we vacuum. And then, if necessary, we wash the floor. And what season we're in. <gasps> and then we're all done like that. And for me, at the end, when I get to wash my hair and stuff, and I use my electric shaver, a little trimmer, and just trim it if it's not... Sometimes the hair is kind of hanging down after I wash my hair around here, and I use my trimmer on my electric shaver just to get any other, other extra hairs that are hanging out, and then I'm beautiful again. I mean, handsome again. This is a wrap-up. We just want to tell you that uh, cutting each other hair is a close time together. We really enjoy it. We save money, and we don't have to go anywhere. It's right here. All the main thing is we got to do is clean up afterwards, and uh, it's really a special time. So may the Lord give you wisdom as you begin to cut each other's hair and touch each other and hold each other and rejoice in uh, making each other presentable for others too. In Jesus' name, amen.